Are you ever frustrated by a low quality footage that just doesn't meet your expectations? Maybe you've come across a b-roll that perfectly illustrates your point but is blurry or pixelated. What if I told you that with just a few steps you can dramatically improve that video quality? Hi, my name is Nick and in this video I want to show you how to utilize powerful AI capabilities of Pixelmator Pro to upscale your videos and drastically improve their quality. This tutorial will obviously require Pixelmator Pro, a Mac-only Photoshop replacement, which is paid, but unlike Photoshop, it's a one-time payment and, in my opinion, it's worth every penny. While it may seem a bit counterintuitive to use a photo editing software to enhance videos, essentially every video is just a set of static images and Pixelmator Pro excels at upscaling those. Pixelmator Pro's Super Resolution ML technology is an advanced image upscaling that uses neural networks and machine learning algorithms to analyze an image, fill in missing details, and increase its resolution, sharpness, and clarity. Not so long ago, Pixelmator Pro added support for video files. However, currently, Super Resolution ML does not work for videos. But we can still use it to improve our video quality through these simple steps. First, convert video into images. Second, use Super Resolution ML to upscale those images. And third, import back the upscaled images, replacing the original clip. Step number one can be done in almost any professional video editor. I'll use DaVinci Resolve, which has a free version available. Here I create a new project, switch to the edit page, drop the clip onto the timeline, and confirm changing the frame rate to match the clip. Now I select the clip on the timeline and look into the Inspector tab on the right. Click here if it's not visible. Switch to File tab and look at our original clip resolution. It's 720p in my example. 2080 by 720. Pretty much unusable if you want to put that into 4K video. Next, in the media pool on the left, I right-click the timeline Timelines, Timeline Settings. Here I uncheck Use Project Settings and input the same resolution as the original clip has. Now switch to the Deliver tab, select TIFF as a format to export. Choose RGB 8-bit LZV compression as the codec. Tips are pretty large and using compression will reduce their size significantly. As Pixelmator Pro does not support patch image processing, we'll need to manually edit each frame. <laughs> Just kidding. Pixelmator Pro supports automation via Apple shortcuts and we'll be using them. I'll link a couple of shortcuts I made in the description down below, so you can copy them for yourself. Essentially, they are all the same, aside from resizing parameters. First one, as the name implies, upscales an image to 4K, and another two provide 2x and 3x upscaling. Select our images in Finder, right-click Quick Actions Super Resolution, wait a bit while they get processed, and select an output location. Important note here, a high amount of larger files may overwhelm your Mac, so it's best to select only a limited amount at a time. By the way, if you know how to reconfigure this shortcut so it edits images one by one and saves them one by one, please let me know in the comment section down below. I would really appreciate that. Now all the hard work is done and we may return to our video editor. Change timeline resolution to match our upscaled images. Select all of them and drag onto the timeline above the original clip. DaVinci will treat this as one video clip. Final action is to head to Deliver tab and render out the clip in its upscaled resolution. Make sure you switch the format to video instead of TIFF we used previously. Here's before and after. That's a great way to improve video quality, especially if you've already purchased Pixelmator Pro. While Pixelmator Pro is quite an efficient tool for video upscaling, there are other alternatives available. Topaz Video AI is the best one, but it's priced at $300. Free AI options are available as well. Video 2X and Beifu 2X to name a few. 
but they are Windows only. By the way, upscaling works great for fixing blurry or out of focus footage in combination with technique I demonstrate in this video right here.